All right, uh, I decided that there was more information I needed to give you um, about XBMC. And that has to do with alternative views, profiles, and I wanted to mention uh, local TV because I'd had a question about that from a family member. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to mention is um, that I didn't really go over earlier is if you go into weather and there is a side tab over here and if you had multiple locations inputted you could choose between them here you could also choose to go with a 10 day forecast which then you can scroll through or a 36 hour forecast a weekend forecast an hourly forecast and maps and alerts and also that in settings again for the weather if you go into settings and advanced options and you scroll down towards the bottom you can go to an animated map and click that not the best animated map but it is an animated map anyway um, so part of my point of showing you this was the fact that uh, because of this side tab over here which also allows for some alternative views in some other areas so that's what we're going to take a look at now so I'm going to go back across and one of the things I'm going to mention is under videos and add-ons when in here you see these add-ons that are enabled uh, like a list however there's other options in this side tab if you go by view right now it is on info and if I just using my enter button I can choose info 2 or list view big list view I can go by thumbnails which I kinda like the thumbnails look for the add-ons alright and it is the same thing in your movies if you click on movies and of course I currently still only have the one thing in here but hopefully by now you've got several movies in here so you get more of an impact but anyway you can go up to view again and clicking enter you can have a big list view a thumbnail view a poster wrap which you get a better idea if you have more movies in here fan art view media info so then if you're hovering over the movie and scrolling through them you'll see a, uh, a summary over here along with a picture let's see what else we have there's media info 2 which is a slightly different look and media info 3 so you can choose which one you like the best and it's the same thing under TV shows if I hover, hover over it um, in the current view I just see the uh, poster art and the in a list view I could choose big list thumbnail poster wrap fan art media info one and because I have that uh, scrolling plot that's why this will automatically scroll I we enabled that in a previous video media info two or media, media info 3 so you just choose which view you like the best and it's that same way in all of these just by bringing up that side tab well, um, under system if you click on profiles you can add a profile the default is the master user so where this comes in useful is if you would have children perhaps uh, if you wanted to create their own profile and if you want to add profile you could type in a profile name like this and just click OK and this is where you could change your profile name, profile picture, the directory where it's at. If you want them to have the other profile to have their media separate from yours choose separate on both of these and then they then you could go in through the one channel for example and create 
new folders for TV shows and movies for the children by a different name. Maybe you would name it uh, Kids TV Shows, Kids Movies, just like we did in the second video. Then you could go in and set up one channel on, from within their profile and start a movies list and TV shows list solely for the children or whoever you wanted to create it for. And it would keep it separate and not have your movies and your TV shows in there. So that's really nice because maybe you don't want them seeing the same things that you watch. Or maybe you don't want all the kids shows in with yours. So that's how you would do that. And um, then you would need to if you turn on login screen currently it, you know it's it's normally it's disabled if you enable it then when you open XBMC it'll give you a choice if you want to log in to the master user or to whatever other profile you've created and you just choose which one you want to go into when you open it um, the other last thing I wanted to show was under um, the videos add-ons and this had to do with the film on add-on. <clears throat> I'm going to open that up and you'll notice that there is a local TV section and if you click on that um, and if you have have an account or if not you can go to the um, film on website create a um, or you can even do it from here you can sign choose sign up or log in and type in your email address and it'll ask you for a password and what not. I'm not going to do that now because I've already I already have my own. And once it gets all of your information, then you can go into local TV and it'll make it'll have a list here of local television channels that you can watch live streaming. You you can't choose to watch certain things at certain times. You you have to watch whatever is streaming live at that moment. So <clears throat> for example with WGN, um, I can't watch the noon news at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'd have to watch it at noon. Um, so it's streaming live at that moment. And that pretty much covers what else I had wanted to mention. Uh, there are other live streaming add-ons in here as well. You just have to go through them and find what you like. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching.